Hello there, beautiful people. I hope you are having a creative day. Um, in the last video, we talked about how to create a responsive design for mobile and tablet um, in Wix Studio. Uh, this time, we are going to add some products in Wix Studio page, and I'm going to teach you how to use CMS and add filters to add some products in your page, as well as uh, how to add the widgets, the product widgets, and customize them. So first of all, let's import some product. I do not have time to add the products manually uh, due to my exams. I don't have that much time. So since there's apologies for that, but I'm gonna use a CSV file. I uh, exported from one Wix demo and use that instead. This is from an electronic store template. So uh, I'm just gonna import these products and uh, show you using the products here. Now let's go ahead and design a product uh, section. First of all, let's uh, use the CMS to add the products. So go here in the sections under the products, you will find some pre-made uh, sections. And these are for uh, CMS, most of them. So select one, um, let's bring it down. All right, so this section right here has the uh, image and the product name. So let's go ahead and connect them to a CMS. So add a data set. and choose the products. All right, once you are done with that, connect the image to the main image right here. Okay, and the alternative text to the name of the product. And the link connects to the product page URL. And this right here will connect to the product name. You can also add some uh, buttons and connect them to the product page URL, but we have already done it with the uh, image, so I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so we have added uh, the product here. And you can see all the products, you know, you have the see more button, you can connect this to the load more. So click action connects to load more. And you can uh, showcase more product right on the home page. So if you click on this, it will load more products. So it kind of, it works like the infinite scrolling. The more products you have, it can show everything here. Another thing you can do is add a filter and show uh, products from a particular category. So let's go back to the data set, select data set settings, add filter. And from here you have a lot of options. So for example, let go, let's go to the selection and you can select a category from here. So let's, for example, select best sellers and add filter. Now this CMS, now this product section will only show the products from uh, one category, the best sellers. So as you can see, we are now seeing the products from the uh, best sellers category. So that way you can add the filters here as well. You can also limit the number of products. So to do that, you have to go back to the data set settings. And from here, you can show the number of the maximum items. So for example, let's set it to six and it will limit the items right here. 
and you will also see that now the see more button here the load more button activates so that way you can use the CMS and the main advantage of this is that it loads faster the product widgets which are right here in the store section right if you add them they are good they give you a lot more options but they slow down the performance the, the loading speed of the web page CMS on the other hand has uh, much more you know performance wise more speed and that will uh, you know give you advantage when it comes to the SEO you can also select some more performance based uh, options so just select the fetch after the page loads and it will further increase the performance of your website so this is the first way to do this uh, you can use the CMS to add the products the another way is just adding the product widgets so let me show you how to do that as well uh, I'm gonna show this in a separate section so let's add a section go to the store and from here you can select the grid or the slider product gallery all right so now let's design it a little bit you can set the design from the settings here it will give you a bunch of options to further customize your uh, product gallery here so first of all you can select which um, category you want to show so we now have the products from this category now let's go to the settings and uh, set some more parameters so first of all you can select which elements you want to show in your product gallery so you can select or deselect it from here So depending on your preferences, you can show what you want on your products. Um, then we have the image hover effect. So I will select it to nothing um, just to, uh, you know, increase some performance. We have the options for the scroll behavior, how you want to show more products. You know, you have three options, infinity scroll, pagination, and load more. So you can select either of them. And we have the add to cart button right and when people add the products in the cart what happens you can select that as well so for example you can show the success pop-up which I recommend you can also select the quantity here which is good for you know uh, certain products uh, which you want to sell in units you can also show options if you have more product options like the color swatches or you know the size or anything like that so these are the basic options for the product then we have the layout you can select uh, the layout of your you know products how you want to show the products you can select that from here you can also select the alignment so let's set it to middle the responsive behavior is good uh, for you know good uh, visibility across all the devices um, after that you can set the sizing of your product after that you get some image placement option you can either place them side by side or you can uh, place them above info so it all depends on your you know design preference um, furthermore you can also set how you want to fit your image whether you want to fit it to the bounding box or crop it um, you can also decide how you want to show your uh, ribbons whether you want to show it on the image or in the product info so right here you can see we have the uh, ribbon in the product info but I will recommend uh, using it on the image looks much better the next option is to uh, decide the text for your uh, buttons and other options so for example you can uh, remove the add to cart option and you know add something else like you know drop in bag or something like that uh, the same goes for other option as well you can set the text for the buttons um, later on we have the design and here you can set the design of all the elements in the product so you have the general uh, 
opacity you have the filter and sorting how you want to set the colors and the text and the fonts you can set everything from here uh, if this is your dedicated product page show the filter as well otherwise for this case i won't show it because this is the home page uh, but you can do that um, you can also uh, add the sort option in your product so that is right here people can sort the product using this drop down menu you have the quick view as well uh, the quick view basically when people click on the product it opens up a small pop-up which shows the main information about the product and finally you have the manage store from here you can add new categories and rearrange your products and more options so yeah this is how you uh, use the widgets in the uh, Wix store you have some more categories here and you can add them in your uh, website as well the basic functionality of the product widgets remains the same uh, you can set the options add and remove the options as well